Master, I want to thank you for taking the time this well, morning to be nice here. You know, I have known you for a long time. Yeah. Because I used to chase you around the club with your hat. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's in But I love, I loved you because of that. I said, come on, Master, please. You know, they, you know, yeah. I said, not my rules, but you always had your company hat. You look good in it, too. I have to admit, Thanks, you look good in it, but you keep that hat all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see, there he is. There he is. Yeah, because that's, uh, yeah. I love it. That's good. That's good. So tell me, where were you born? When? Where? Oh, where? Yes. Well, I was born in uh, the uh, Hanyu city in Saitama. It's okay. um, more of a prefectural, uh, you know, a border between Guma and Saitama. Okay. And along, across so the street. right there. So you just across the street, then you're right in Guma. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'm you live first in Tone River. Tone River, then right. you're right there. Yeah. How long did you live there? How long, how old were you? Well, you live? let me see. When's the first time you left? Well, I, I think uh, the till the uh, high school age. Okay. You had never left. You stayed uh, until high school. Yeah, right. I, I until, until the end of high school. Okay. And then uh, got into the uh, college. All right. But yeah. you had you have a sister older you have one sister too, yeah. right? A younger sister. Younger sister? Yeah. How much younger is she than you? Well, about seven years. Seven years. Are you guys close? Yeah, quite quite close. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Does yeah. she have kids? Are you Oh yeah, you, oh you, yes. How many Two kids? kids. Alright, so you've been an uncle. That's who you're playing with and how old are the kids? How old are they now? Well, actually the first son mm -hmm. has got uh, five kids. <laughs> so you're a great five. grand you're a great uncle. Yeah, and they lived in Sydney, okay. Australia. Mm -hmm. They just returned recently, mm -hmm. but I think they intend to go back some, you know, sometime. I don't know. But. Mm -hmm. And Sydney son's got uh, two kids. Two kids. Oh, beautiful kids. Yeah. Unbelievable. So you're close with your nephews. Oh yeah, yeah. Very, very. So that's what you're playing with. You're playing with your. You're the great. Uncle to their kids. Yeah, right. I think the the first son, okay. Tom Wanky, Tomo, right. really he watched my you know, back. Always. And uh, he uh, traveled across the Asia. Oh, he wanted to be just like his uncle. Yeah. Okay. I, like I went to America right. for the first time back in the 1969. Okay. By myself. Uh, How old were you then? How old when that happened? Huh? How old were you when you went to the Oh, that school? was a, a uh, when I was a uh, junior year at the college. Okay. So you're 20, and, 21? Yeah, 20, maybe 21. And that was your like first that. time leaving? Yeah, first time leaving. Did you speak English? Well, very little. You know, I went to Sofia University, Did and you? that's great, you know, right. but still. But you didn't go to the international campus? No. You were in Ichigawa, well, Gaia. Yeah. You were right no, there. No, uh, right in the Yotsuya. 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 You're the main campus, right? right. Because my sons went to Yotsi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're their senpai. I tell you a little bit more about that later. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you went to you went to Joji. That was your first choice. Yes. Okay. First choice. But was it mostly a girls' school at one time? That is that no. Is it right? It's just, it's just, it was a men's school. Okay. And then they admitted to girls. Except the women. Oh, so it was a girls. So it was men's first. I think so. Okay. I, no, that's what I heard. But it's a Catholic school, isn't it? Yes, it is Catholic. Okay. And they had the fathers that lived on campus. Right. 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 Because they were right. one of them. They still, they still do, I believe. They still. Uh, I know. You, you bet. Yeah. Okay. Father Pitao is my, yes. uh, my uh, you know, uh, great teacher. Right. And. Uh, I learned a lot from him. Okay. Yes. What did you study in college? Economics. Economics. Right. Okay. Now tell me a little bit about your elementary school. What sports were you good in when you were young? Well, um, a little bit of tennis. Okay. 
When you were young, in elementary yeah. too? Well, no, uh, at the soccer. And okay. the, in the elementary school and junior high and okay. all that. And then I got into uh, tennis, playing more, uh, you know, tennis. Okay. And then uh, in college, uh, you know, the sailing, you know, yacht. Okay. Yeah. What did your father do? Was he a sailor? Well, no, he was, uh, he was a naval officer. Navy officer. In World War II? Yes. Okay, so he he was on the aircraft carrier Akagi. Akagi got sunk. Was he on it when it got sunk? Yes. So did he make it through it? He made it through. Well, otherwise, uh, yes, right. Well, I mean, you could have been born before he went too. You know, I don't. Oh, that's right. That's right. You can say that's right. So he made. So he he made it through that. Yeah, he made it through. Well, actually. The uh, the sunk and he got hit by uh, you know kind of uh, I don't know. Do you see a submarine or was it a plane? He, he he was on the some sort of what do you call it the steel uh, raft. Okay, raft or something. Yeah, else. something like that. Right. Hang on to it almost. Uh, I don't know what he said nine hours or so with his buddies. Buddies, because the sink because the ship had sank. Right. And I mean, really, I mean, he was hanging out to He, he has been telling me every night since I was uh, five or six. He told you the story on the table, yeah. What, what rank do you, what was his rank? I don't know, uh, uh, below, uh, what do you call it, uh, Shoei, uh, that's... Uh, Admiral, or I don't know. No, no, no. He was a lower, so like lower, a lower rank, but rank. I don't know the navy ranks, but he okay. probably had one or two stripes. So he, yeah, you know, right. but he was an officer. Yeah, what was well, his job? He became an officer. He became an officer. Uh, he, you know, after he got signed, he, he came yeah. back. He was rescued by a Japanese destroyer and then came back to Kure, you know, the right. uh, Kure port, right. where the uh, Japanese navy, uh, supposed to be Japanese. Naval base mm -hmm. in Hirosh near Hiroshima, right. and uh, he I think he spent some time at the hospital. He had to. So he so he was enlisted when he when the ship went down. Mm -hmm. But then he came back and stayed in the service. Mm -hmm. And then he became a officer. an officer. And then went back again <laughs> with the uh, uh, um, kind of. Uh, Aircraft carrier made out of the what do you call it the cruiser boat. Okay, right, right. Not really aircraft. Carrier. Okay, but it ended up being one, right? Yes, yeah. a uh, makeshift. Sure put the kind of this thing on top of the table. thing on top. Right, so they get boom, right. take them off. I saw some of those. Yeah. Wow. And the and then he, you know, the war ended. He came back. Right. And, was he bitter? I mean, was he bitter? I mean, how did did he raise you? Well, no, he. he he was uh, he was a very strict person, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you know, Masa, you really have to see the world. Well, that kind of you know hindered me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at that time, and then I think uh, it was elementary school age. Mm -hmm. you know. He said, "You must see the world." Right? Did he want you to go into the service? No, he didn't want you to go in the service. Well, because there's no service. Uh, but you have the GI, GI, GI no, type? No, so there was nothing. So there, nothing was, there was nothing. Right? Yeah. So because we'd occupied. So he didn't yeah. even ask me about right. that. But right. uh, uh, only he said was uh, just to see the world and when whatever you know the time comes and uh, by your eyes and and see what happened. <laughs> He didn't say like you should be married and have kids. No, 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 no. He just wanted you to make sure you yeah, saw the world. See the world. That's interesting. Yeah. That's so, so interesting. And then I was kind of brought up in more of the, you know, the American programs on TVs. You mm -hmm. know. He made sure you watched. He wanted to make sure you no, saw. No, I just. Oh, you I did. That was your interest. <laughs> okay. So you know. And then uh, listen to the popular music. Like, what did you like? What kind of music well, did you like? Del Shannon. Del Shannon. You know, Neil Seneca and, you know, all those. Elvis. Elvis Presley. Right, and, right. And, and, that, all, and all that. Uh, you enjoyed it. Did you learn the words to this, a lot of, some of the songs? I, I tried. You tried to? <laughs> yeah, I just listened to it. Right. And also, I, 
I uh, listen to the uh, uh, the um, uh, the uh, U.S. Uh, foreign Far East network. network. Yes, I didn't understand what they're saying. Okay, but just what was the kind of feeling you had in yeah, school? right? Maybe, you know, elementary. Right. I mean, uh, sixth grade in the elementary school mm -hmm. and also junior high. I've been listening to all this, and and that kind of makes me go to a. Sophia University, which is more international oh, okay. background and, okay. and so on and so forth. Instead of going to Todai or Waseda? No, or okay, um, no, no, it doesn't uh, hit me. Yeah, you <laughs> or I, maybe I can't. Yeah, you probably <laughs> could. I think you would have easily. But the thing is, you wanted to make sure you were as much as international as you could be. Yeah, right. So uh, my father really uh, influenced me uh, a lot. Right. What about but you had to, to be on your own. And that's another thing. <laughs> he said, but you have to be on your own. Right. Meaning, what do you mean? Like, well, uh, we, you know, if you want to go America, mm -hmm. well, I wanted to go to America. Mm -hmm. In 1969, I decided. And I said, okay, well, I'll give you 500 bucks. And that's okay. it. <laughs> because that's the maximum amount, you know, you can take. That's we, right, to go up there, right? Yeah, at that time. At that time, right. All right. And yeah. then... Uh, after that, you know, <laughs> no support whatsoever. He let you know that, so you're going to have right. to work or whatever. Right. And then, whenever you want to come back, just come back. So you knew he loved you and that you would yeah. always be there. That's right. But he was just very strict. Yeah, very strict. Uh, How old were you when he passed away? How old were you? you said just not long ago. Uh, he passed away 88. He was 80 years Yeah, old. he was 88. 88. <laughs> Right. So, could be in 98, 99. 99, 99 or something. This year, right? yeah. and My mother, know. too, at okay. yeah, the same age, you know. But um, she passed away before him or later? My mother you? passed away yeah, after, after, 10 years after. 10 years after him. Right. Okay. Almost, uh, well, no, eight years after. Eight right? years right. after. Something like that. Right. So your sister, did she have the same passion to go to the U.S.? Or? No, she is more like uh, reserved, mm -hmm. and uh, you know she wants to raise the kids, and you know very domestic, uh, if I put it that way. Right. You right. Know. And that's fine. You know. Okay. Okay. Right. Did you ever want to have you? You have no children, right? No. Okay. Because I've always seen you're always so happy, and you're always involved with everyone. Mm -hmm. You know. You know. Well, that's maybe. That's another influence from my father. You know, you you got to be positive and you know cheerful and blah blah blah. That's the way he was. Yeah. So when you saw him around, yeah, he was he's restrained. Okay, and, right. Yeah, but he's you know he's he's, he's really uh, I mean fond of uh, taking care of neighbors and mm -hmm. communities and you know and friends and and you know what was. Uh, Drinking and, mm -hmm. and having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Did he, he did he continue to work all the way through, or did he retire? What did he do after he, he retired? He was uh, he was uh, uh, he's got a company mm -hmm. and making shirts mm -hmm. and they exported to Sears and you know pennies and you know bottom down shirts right, right, and right. kind of t shirts you know Hanes type of t shirts. Mm -hmm. and, so he did. He didn't want you to work with him. No. Well, actually, probably he did, but he wouldn't so, say it. But he, he didn't did. say anything. Yeah. Uh, it's your life. You know, you do what you want to do. What you want to do. But if you said that, I want to work with you, he would have said he'd been happy. Yeah, he'd been happy, yeah. probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So what did but, you? But but to see, yeah, remember, I don't know, one, it's me to see the world. To see the world. So you had to do that. Yeah. And the the, the, the chances. Came when I was a, a junior at Sophia mm -hmm. University, mm -hmm. and there was a student struggle. What's going on? That's right. And the campus was closed. Mm -hmm. I said to myself, "Well, maybe this is the time, you know." And that was a, 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 a December, nineteen sixty-eight. When did the guy commit Hadi Kitty? That was maybe nineteen seventy. Yeah, because that's during that time, all the student rebellion, yeah, right. not just in Japan, it was in the U.S. as well. I, I understand, right. It was everywhere. That's yeah, the, was the student revolt. They didn't yeah. like the old yeah, system. Exactly. 
Yeah. I think I heard that news when I came back to Japan from America mm -hmm. for you know one year uh, adventures uh, journey. So tell me about <laughs> that. So what made you what made you go? I know your father got you to go, but how did you get the opportunity to go? Well, actually, <clears throat> uh, December 1968, and then camps was closed. Mm -hmm. So I turned in a uh, intention of uh, temporary absence from the college for say one year. So, so when you know, I, I all become senior and first, you know, and, and then graduating, right? But I decided not to, and the, and headed for America. In, the, in 1969. In, you were scared though, because your English well, wasn't so good. No. It's, yeah, I know it's you know, but somehow I uh, I got trained by my. My father. And you knew father. nobody in America? What? You know a, yes. Okay. Uh, the university, uh, Sophia University, International Division mm -hmm. um, a student, she went back to Kansas, Salina, okay. Kansas. All right. So, Masa, whenever you know, get to America, just, uh, you know, get in touch with me mm -hmm. uh, in the summertime. So she was there, so okay. she kind of helped me you know, right. getting a job, you know, part time job, right. and blah blah blah. So you stayed with her family, or you stayed close by? Or? No, no, I just uh, I rented an apartment. Apartment, okay. You know, little apartment in Salina, Kansas. You know, yeah. and, uh, before that, I just uh, you know I I arrived in San Francisco and um, you know uh, stayed in YMCA and. And then the one on one, the hitchhiking, and then went to LA. Those are the days you could do it. Those are the days when you could hitchhike. Yep. And then people. Not anymore. <laughs> but then, but so you just think, so that had to be exciting. Tell me. Oh, so, yes. So, okay, so you went there. What were the thoughts that went through your head? You went there, you knew you knew some English. Mm -hmm. So how did it go? You got there, you got off the plane. Yeah, well, did you, you went by plane, of course. You flew there. You're right. Yes. Flew there. And then uh, as a Pan American, uh, yes, yeah. I remember. <laughs> but uh, you know, one on one, it's just splendid uh, in the, the coastline and, and all that. Uh, on the way, uh, San Luis Obispo or San Barbara, you know, it's just uh, fabulous. I mean, towns and cities, and, you know. And then uh, from LA to a uh, Las Vegas and out to. Uh, Hawaii, I mean Reno, mm -hmm. yeah. Reno, Nevada, and then Wyoming, and and then Colorado Springs, and uh, and on to a uh, somebody Kansas. <laughs> but, but, but tell me some interesting things that took place when you went on the trip. What things do you remember? Well, what do you remember? Well, mostly I mean hitchhiking, and then you know meeting the the uh, friends and so the, you, I mean, so drivers so, are so, I mean so. Kind and nice. well, they, but they were surprised. You could have been one of the first Japanese they ever met. Probably, sometimes, probably. So, so, and, and so we had, you know, a hard time to to communicate. To communicate. <laughs> <laughs> so you get the, so, wait, wait, wait. So when you hitchhike, were you doing it like this? Yeah, something like that. Or did you have a no, sign? No, no, just uh, just like this. Just like that. And they pull over the side. Yeah, you, well, you, so, you had your back side. Yeah, right. Okay. And uh, sometimes, you know, you, you really have to wait. Uh, so how long, what was the longest time you waited? I don't know. I mean, a couple hours. And, okay, but, well, you, I mean, but I, you never had to wait for a day. No, 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 no. No, no, <laughs> not at all. Uh, I, good I, 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 I kind of a sort of planned, you know, uh, the way uh, right. I, uh, I should do. Right, get up early in the morning. Right, and, yes. Right. Right. So that if it went late, you just by, by three or so, you'd right. at least get a ride. Right. Right. Wow. Right. So what did you eat? A glass of milk. And Every in day? The morning, huh? In the morning. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, apple pie and, and lunch for uh, hamburger and, hamburger. Uh, you know, hot dog and all that. Uh, so the food was different. So how did you take... And that was okay because, the, you know, during my college uh, years, you know, when, when I kind of hang around in the Harajuku area and, you know, all those uh, American... Uh, did you, ever get on, did you ever get on the base in Japan? Oh, yes. I did a part-time job in the summer. Okay. And U.S. base. Just checking. 
Okay. Furniture. Okay. No. Well, fridge. All right. Go. Boom, 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 boom. And it was a very good money. Right. So I eat Yokosuka dates and then the Atsugi and the first Atsugi and so the Sama and, uh, you know, okay. near the, the basin nearby the, uh, you know, Tokyo uh, area. Right, right, right. So you had all the, so you, so you had a chance to deal with almost all the bases. Mm -hmm. Mostly, yeah. yeah. And nicely, you know, the uh, the officer, officers, uh, you know, gave me uh, tobaccos and everything. Liquor, liquor, yeah. Johnny Walker, red, and all this stuff. Yo, yeah. <laughs> did you would you give it to your dad? Did your dad have some? Well, some. You right, right? But uh, you know, we had a kind of beach house. Okay. In, in Kuruba, and kind of showing on there. Mm -hmm. the next day, you know, on the beach, they're just drinking, yeah, having a good time. And uh, every time I go back. Yeah, at night and, and everybody's sleeping and, and nothing left. <laughs> nothing left, because you're taking everything. So that's why when you went to America, you were already, you got rid of any of your fear mm -hmm. of foreigners, because you'd been probably, around them already. Probably, yeah. And you knew the person, how they would move yeah, their actions yeah, yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you'd already so watched that. Right. Experience is at the U.S. base and the meeting right. with the nice, you know, I mean, officers. Right. And, and just great. I really had a good time in right. America. I mean, it's from Salina, Kansas, or Texas, <laughs> and along the way to the you know, the Texas, uh, the the old couple picked me up. You stayed with them for more than a day. Yeah, <laughs> two weeks. Two weeks. And so, then uh, good, you know, went through the Gulf South by uh, the Greyhound South. bus. Uh, so you went through Mississippi, oh, you Alabama, Jackson. yeah, Natchez, Louisiana, Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> A mobile Alabama, you know, all these in Spanish moss and everything. I just, uh, I still remember. Fantastic. You had to love it. You're going through there. That had to be wonderful for you. Yes, yes. You got to see real America. Real America. <laughs> yes. And then I went down to Florida, you know, yes. uh, for Lauderdale and okay. Daytona Beach in Miami and then to the Key West and came back again. Uh, and then we went to uh, Appalachian. Mountains. Appalachian Mountains. Mountains. We went to the mountains. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Appalachian Mountains. Yeah, yeah. Across, yeah, mountains. And, and then we went to uh, Virginia, Richmond. Right. You know, yeah. uh, interested in American history. Mm -hmm. Most of the Civil War. Okay. That's the place? Yeah. <laughs> so I learned, I, you know, I read the, quite a few books about mm -hmm. the Civil War. And then uh, went up to uh, New York and, and then went up to Canada and mm -hmm. across the Canada all. Montreal, yes. Yeah. And then across Toronto and Winnipeg, North Dakota, you know, you know up in the North right, right, Dakota right. and then right, right. to the great, you know, Banff, Jasper. Oh, Jasper. Rocky Mountains. Rocky Mountains. And then, the and then I went to Vancouver and I came back to America and then back to Kansas again. All by yourself? By myself. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? No, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> My goodness. Yes. And, uh, you know, <laughs> well, the, I had to work uh, and I got a part-time job at the ranch. Where? In Texas? In no, Salina, Kansas. It's like in Kansas, all right. right. All That's right. why I learned about the, you know the ranching and, and horses and what else. Yeah, you know, you know cows. Well, what I had to do is just a, kind of what do you call it? The spreading on uh, the hay. Okay, and, right, you right, know, right. Um, you know, with a pickup truck, right, and a pitch wagon, right, and, right, uh, pitchfork and everything. <laughs> and then I went down to. Texas again. Okay, you had to go and, back. And then and to Mexico via Nuevo Laredo. Okay. By bus. By bus. No. Second, no. second class bus. Nine. Autobus is second class. Oh. I picked up a book, I mean, a Spanish book. And also, the, I bought a book, uh, $5 a day in Mexico. Okay. And then I ch checked it and, oh, this is a nice hotel and I can stay. In Mexico, I, uh, you know, travel through Guadalajara, Guanajuato, Cuernavaca, Acapulco, uh, Palenque, San Cristobal, Las Casas, Merida, uh, Tulum, and then down into uh, 
Nicaragua, okay. next uh, country to okay. Mexico, Nicaragua, El Salvador, okay. and, you know, those countries. And then I came back to Mexico, right. and then back to America, and went to Hawaii on the way, about and coming home. in 1970, perhaps February time frame. Okay, so just, you've been there for what, two years? How many no, years? one year. One year? Yes. Only one year? One year. Twelve months. Twelve months. Almost eleven months or so. Eleven months or so, okay. Months or so. You did all that job, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a journals. You, you still know, have the journals, just have the journals that you can. Do. And uh, maybe And I what was, kind of camera did you have with you? Uh, that was a recall. Recall? You had yes. a recall? Right. How old were you at that time? 21, 22. Okay, 21, maybe. 22. Right. And came back. Right. And then, you know, uh, completed my senior year. Okay, okay. And I, Send an application form to the University of Arizona, and then okay. got accepted. Okay. Right. So first semester, work my so I'm sure you did. Work hard. And then I got my scholarship and everything. So from second semester, uh, I got my research assistantship, fortunately. Right. So I, you know, I don't have to pay uh, tuition fees and. and Instead, I, I, I'm getting paid. Right, getting paid to do it, right? Right, and two hours a day in five days, so uh, 10 hours a week, uh, you know, to do some research. Uh, and that's it. Okay. So I, I got out of the dorm and uh, rented the apartment mm -hmm. and uh, got my car. Okay. <laughs> what kind of car did you get? What was your first car? A Camaro. Yes. Everyone had Camaro. That's right. That was 1973. 1973. Right. Because I went to the University of Arizona from the fall of 1972, mm -hmm. and first semester done, and from the second semester, uh, assistantship and right. scholarship and all that right. stuff. Right. And really. Now, how old were you at this time? You were 25? No, 20. Yeah, 20. 23, 24. 23, yeah, 24. But, yeah. Okay, Namasa, how did you avoid all the temptations? <laughs> okay, now you're in Japan during the disco time. Right. Or you see, no, oh, yeah. when you're Sophia, yeah. that was disco oh, time. God. After, let me tell you, <laughs> after the international division class is over, about 9 o'clock, perfect time, 9 10. That's right. And then went to the uh, what do you call it? The Akasaka's uh, Mugen? Mugen? And Biblos? Biblos? You, you went to those? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> with, 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 my, with my Sophia boys in my okay. college days, there was a disco, little disco called The Others in Shinjuku. The and all okay. the military people went there. Went there. Okay. And rhythm and blues, RB, all, all the time. Party. So you did party. Oh yes, I did party bar. <laughs> so, okay. So what happened? So what happened when you were in the U.S.? Okay, so I understand the Tokyo part. When you, because that was during the hippie time in the U.S. Too, yes, though, I, you know, I did some hippie time. You, well, yeah, yeah, you know, long hair and everything. So, okay. so now after you finished college, and you talk, right. then what happened? When did you get your job? And then I got my degrees and. You know, my master's degree, master's degree in, at the University of Arizona. You got your master's? Yes, I did a okay. master's in, and uh, yeah, I was in grad school. Okay, and, uh, okay. And then uh, uh, I got my job in Monsanto in St. Louis. Okay. And that's where my kind of corporate career started. started. Uh, yeah, more of the uh, market research. Market research. Just using the, you know, my uh, 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 area of uh, expertise. expertise Kind of forecasting uh, things and blah. did you need to travel a lot or did you have to just be no, stay, stay uh, yes I did yeah I did travel America throughout the year you know, from Monsanto you had to from, from Monsanto uh, the the I spent some time in, in St Louis and then uh, came to Tokyo for a while and uh, but in St Louis uh, headquarters I, I did some research you know how how the perennial grass is, uh, uh, you know, growing mm -hmm. in the farmers' uh, uh, land mm -hmm. uh, in Illinois, uh, you know, more of the what do you call the wheat right, 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 right. lands. Right. 
So uh, there's some uh, kind of research on that, mm -hmm. uh, how many infestations uh, per acre, mm -hmm. and, and then based on that kind of forecast, uh, how many gallons of uh, herbicides needed for mm -hmm. specific, uh, you know, perennial grasses. And then somehow I, I got my job at the Texas Instruments, and I got uh, the uh, interview with the um, my former boss. Mm -hmm. You know, the he was great. He was American. Was, American? Yeah, American. Okay, okay. Don Charming House, and he's he built a culture in TI. I met him twenty sixteen. Okay. And that was the last time because I had the uh, okay. on the kind of fishing trip mm -hmm. in Dallas, and uh, at that time, you know, with my buddy, you know, we met uh, with uh, Don. Okay. And uh, Don was pleased. I bet he was. Yeah. I bet he was. Brought back some good memories. Yeah. Wow. He was the guy who hired me, and okay. uh, the right okay. choice I made. Yeah. How long did you stay with um, Texas? About 20 years, yeah. Well, TI, and then I worked for some other companies as well, uh, and after, uh, you know, before re I re completely retired. But uh, TI is that was my, hard. my soul. And in Tokyo, maybe I just spent five, ten, five, five days, or mm -hmm. seven days, ten days, or, but other Days that uh, you know, I go to Seoul, and Hong Kong, Taipei, Singapore, and Sydney, and and back to Dallas, and report to my boss, and, and come back. <laughs> it's up in the air so all the time. What did your dad feel about this? What was he thinking when you came back? Well, and said, dad, look at my life. Great. Did you, did he ever want to go with you anywhere? Did you ever? Well, want that's why I, 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 Dad, I wanted to take it to Texas sometime, but uh, I, I just couldn't. Somehow I was so busy. And, okay, you never got to do it. But, but I, uh, I had a business trip in, anyway, in Europe, European headquarters in Nice, France. Nice, huh? That's nice. So after I took, my, you know, um, I finished my Business and I came back to Tokyo to pick my parents up and and why don't we go to Italy? So we took a trip to Italy. Wow! How long did they say? How long did you about stay? about uh, ten days? Yes, yeah. good. That was the precious moment I ever had with my parents. You know, it was just the three of you. Yes, that's beautiful. Rome and uh, oh no. We landed in uh, kind of Venice. Okay, good. Yeah, right. Okay. And then uh, stayed there and then to uh, Florence, you know. And then uh, I, I rented the car in Florence and, and, then, and then went to uh, Tuscany and stayed at the very nice villa. That was so nice. Very nice villa. And then from, from, uh, Tuscany to, you know, uh, uh, Montalbano, Assisi, Siena, and back to Rome, and came home. What was there, what did your mother and father enjoy the most? Vatican. They love seeing the Vatican? Yes. I they did too when I saw it. They got impressed and just, yeah, they spent almost half a day. Just they didn't want to leave. And, you no, know, they just uh, walking down the, you know, looking at the, you know, the pictures and art. I was so glad I, I did that. Only thing I uh, kind of regret that just, I didn't take that to Texas. I, I just wanted to say again, this is the country. You fought against. <laughs> Big. Probably he was, uh, he was really amazed with the vast land. Uh, you know. I think he would have been, yeah. Right. If it's in it, then you know. But, wow. Yeah. That's so interesting. Boy, that was such a good trip. You made me feel like I was there. <laughs> that was so good. What was your feeling That's, after you retired? Then you decided to. I uh, kind of relax and, you know, when did you come to the club? You know, I used to read the uh, John Grisham book. John Grisham, yes. yes. Yeah. Master, anything you'd like to leave us with? I'm going to let you know this part. 
Yeah, I think uh, the word I, I like about is a, which I picked up at, when I was working at the TI. Do the right thing and do it right in the first place and be positive and the fun and that's it. That's been, I think probably, I was very much influenced by uh, my co-worker at, at the TI mm -hmm. and that's kind of building the kind of friend networks and I really appreciate that, uh, you know, and I still, that's my core spirit. Wow, that's beautiful, Nelson. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on your podcast. Really, I really thank appreciate you. it. I really want to thank you for sharing this time. Well, I really, I mean, really thank appreciate you. this opportunity to have me on, on the program. Thank you. I want to thank all of you for watching. Make sure you press like, make sure you subscribe, and never forget, it's all on loan. Continue to reach for the stars, and you're too blessed to be stressed. <laughs>